Hey, what's going on guys? E2P coming at you guys with another video today and I'm going to be doing an update video on both my 2015 and my 2016 draft classes. You guys have been asking for an update and I was going to do one uh, earlier this week or last week, uh, but I did not get around to it. But I have a couple uh, a couple things I want to say before I jump into this. So number one, if you can't keep up with these updates and you see that the file was updated but you don't know what happened, I actually, uh, I'm actually going to be posting notes to a blog from now on. So that's going to be in the description. It's on Operation Sports. I'm sure you guys have heard of that. I've done two blog posts so far, and since the last one, there haven't been too many updates. So um, I'll be posting those as updates come out, as like more substantial updates come out, so you guys can keep up with it so I don't have to make a video every time and uh, stuff like that. Also, I want to quickly address the requests that I get. So I know a lot of you guys leave requests. I mean, like there are a lot of requests, um, and I just want to address that really fast. So as far as uh, the type of players that I create, as most of you guys know, I only create prospects for 2015 and 2016 uh, guys, so I can add them into my draft class. I don't create, uh, you know, real guys that maybe aren't in the game or in the D League or overseas or something or I don't create guys that aren't even going to be eligible until 2017 so like juniors in high school I don't create those guys uh, so you don't need to leave those requests and also uh, a lot of the requests that I see you know they're guys that um, you know maybe aren't super super well-known guys guys that don't have a super high draft stock and that doesn't mean I won't create them I'll try to create as many uh, guys as I can I'm at about 130 creative players right now so I don't have too many spots left but uh, if you leave a request and I don't respond, I try to respond to a lot of them, but if I don't respond to all the requests, you don't need to leave uh, the same requests on other videos. I see every single comment, as I said before, I read every one and I take every request into consideration. If I don't get to it, I apologize, uh, but that is for you know multiple reasons, whether it be a guy that um, just isn't really on the radar for the draft and I don't want to use a spot on him or uh, you know I just don't have time to create guys because creating one player takes a pretty long time I, I timed one of them and it took me 46 minutes to make one guy so as you guys can imagine if getting a lot of those requests and everything it can take a pretty long time to uh, try to grant all those but I'll try to uh, get to them and as I said I read every single comment so let's go ahead and jump into the 2015 class and some of the new updates I've done I've done you know maybe a few updates to ratings not really too much I notice here that I changed Carl Anthony Towns hairstyle uh, but some of the guys that I've added uh, I've started you know switching guys in between my 2015 and 2016 classes because guys are declaring for the draft so one of the new guys that I moved from my 2016 uh, to 2017 is Jordan Mickey and I think I have him yeah, right here as a 68 overall I'll go ahead and click on him so you guys can see him and also if I don't do a creation tutorial on a player that you want me to you can just tweet them you just tweet me and I'll send you a picture of what they look like in the game I just won't post a tutorial um, you know at that exact time uh, but if you want to see what they look like feel free to tweet me and I will show you a picture so I added Jordan Mickey in. I also moved uh, Terry Rozier over to the 2015 class uh, Chris McCullough uh, campaign was added in and I, a lot of people actually requested Cameron Payne I'll go ahead and show him really quickly uh, but I moved him um, into the 2015 class because he is now declared for the draft um, Aaron White, Rakeem Christmas, and Travis Trice I did a tutorial on Travis Trice so I don't need to show him but I am going to show Aaron White because uh, people have asked the Aaron White looks really bad um, to be honest like the, the hairstyle the hairstyle they had didn't really look anything like what he has um, they don't really have a hairstyle that matches him and it's also pretty hard to create white guys in 2k to be honest um, it's a little bit easier than it used to be but it's still not super easy and I'll go ahead and show the King Christmas as well and then I'll try to speed this up a little bit and just get through some of the updates so there's your King Christmas um, from Syracuse so those were the guys that were added in uh, as far as guys that I removed I removed Chris Walker and Georges Niang uh, because they are going to the 2016 draft and they're staying in school one more year. Um, so those were a few of those, did a few more miscellaneous updates. I think this class now has close to probably a little bit over 70 guys in it, so uh, that's, that's pretty good. Changed a few ratings, as I said, but that's pretty much it for the 2015. It now has a solid, I believe, 911 
thousand nine, almost nine hundred and twelve thousand downloads. Uh, that's absolutely insane. And then 2016 has almost 70,000 downloads, so that's pretty good as well. So we'll go ahead and jump into the 2016 right here. And this got quite a few um, players added to it. Uh, Scal LeBissier, he is, has been added to the class of 2016. That's a guy that's really potentially the number one overall pick in 2016. I hadn't added him in yet, um, but this is, I added him in. All these updates are as of like a week ago. Uh, I added in Demetrius Jackson right here from Notre Dame. I think this is actually a really on-point creation tutorial. Or not a creation tutorial. That I think I did a good job on Demetrius Jackson. If you guys don't know what he looks like, uh, you know, that looks a lot like him. I also added in Dwayne Bacon, Antonio Blakeney, Nigel Hayes, Melo Trimble. Uh, and then I added in Chris Walker and George, George Niang from uh, Iowa State. So... Those were some of the other guys. I also added in Anthony Gill down here from UVA um, into the 2016 class as well. And that actually, I think that one really looks good as well. If you guys don't know what he looks like, I think this is one of my better ones as well, especially the side view. Um, so that's that. Players removed. I removed Jordan Mickey and Terry Rozier and Chris McCullough uh, because I moved them over to my 20 set or my 2015 draft class. Um, and then there were some, a few miscellaneous updates, like I added the compression pants to Ben Simmons over here um, because a couple people asked me to do that, and I don't really know why I didn't have them on. I did notice he wears them a lot, uh, but I guess when I was making him a lot of the tape I was watching, he didn't have them on, so I decided to not go with it. Um, but those are it for those updates, and let me just check really quickly what are some of the other ones. Um, oh, all right, here we go. So we added a few more guys. The 2015 class got, let me go back to the 2015 class, actually, it got a foreign player that is a very, very solid guy. Early second round, late first round projection, uh, Timothy Luwawu, <laughs> Timothy Luwawu um, from France. And I think, you know, I was watching a lot of stuff on him. He's actually a really, really um, solid player. He's, you know, got a lot of different skills. If he can get better at finishing and everything then I think he could actually be a pretty solid player. He's really young, and he has a lot of potential. So we'll see what he does in the league. Also, uh, I I took out Chris Obekpa and Bryce Johnson, and I added them to my 2016 class because they declared for the draft. And then in the uh, 2016 class, I'll jump right back over to that, I added in um, Grayson Allen from Duke. I already did a player creation tutorial on him. And I also added in, uh, I added in uh, E.C. Matthews from Rhode Island. That's a guy I've been trying to add him in for a long time, and I just never have really gotten around to it. But I finally got over, and I did E.C. Matthews, and I'm uh, glad I was able to get him into the class. A couple people asked for him. Um, and then I changed some ratings around. I changed Wayne Selden. I knocked his rating down. He was at like a 71 or something. I hadn't updated him in so long. Um, and then I also bumped Mellow Trimble up to a 71 instead of a 70. And I believe that's just about it. That's really all I have to say for the update. I'll quickly show Thon Maker because people have asked people have asked for me to show Thon Maker and make a tutorial. I will do a tutorial on him very soon, but that is what he looks like. So that's it for the update. Sorry if it was a little bit uh, random, kind of like jumping around between classes and stuff, but I hope this does uh, you know, help you guys out. If you wanted to know about the updates, as I said at the beginning of the video, you can click the link in the description and it'll take you to uh, my blog where I'll be posting these updates so you can read them and I'll post those a lot more frequently than I'll post a video about the updates. And again, if you want to see a player and I don't do a tutorial on him, just Tweet me on Twitter at Embrace the Pace. Link in the description. Um, link is really it, it shows at Embrace the Pace at the beginning of almost all the creation tutorials. Um, so you can uh, you know tweet me there and ask me who you want to see, and I will tweet you a picture of them, and I'll try to get to as many of the, of the requests as I can. So that does it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys later.